F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fans? If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Where friend requests friends to watch Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 1, titled Flame Hashira Kijiro. Rengoku. I don't know if I said that right, but hopefully I'm in the ballpark. You feel me? But can't wait to dive into this new season, man. I'm super excited to see where this story is going to head. Now, we left off with Rengoku, man. R.I.P. Rengoku, man. It was one of the realest. I can't believe I shed tears for a man that I've only known for a couple of episodes. I haven't even really known this man. And I shed some tears for him. So I'm really excited to see where we're going to go from here. How you feel going into this new episode, uh, this new season? You already know. I've been waiting for this for a long time, man. I've been waiting for this. I cannot wait to get into this shit. So, for y'all who already seen Demon Slayer, you know we got some 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 comments, some feedback. Talk to my boy who already done watched the show. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna watch season two, episode one. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to skip the rest because we know that it's pretty much moves and train. We'll, we'll probably jump into it on our own time. Yep. Um, and then we're going to hop into the next arc. So we'll probably be into the next arc by the time y'all see this episode. So if y'all feel like y'all wanted the other episodes, then we apologize. But they not coming. <laughs> they, they not. But, you know, we don't feel like it's necessary to just a couple of minutes of, of extra, you know, content. We don't feel like it's it's worth diving into that. So we're gonna you know we're gonna continue on to the thick of it. We're gonna get into the thick of this stuff. We're gonna see what demons we're gonna face. Who's gonna go with who? Are we gonna see um, Tanjiro uh, talk to Rengoku's father or brother? You know, mm. is that gonna happen? You know, there's a few mm -hmm. things that I want to see. You know, kind of answered. You know, I, I know they didn't leave much. But they did leave us with a few questions and hopefully they answer it in these few episodes that we watched today. So, man, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and also don't forget to subscribe. OK, we so close to that 1K. The only way we're going to get there is if you click that button and also click that bell so you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Yeah, we made it. I know season two. We made it, baby. I don't know where we going with this. I, I need flex. The hell? Bro, that train sounded like it was coming from the real world. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I started tripping for a second. <laughs> Some train days. Is this before he turned into a mm. zombie? I guess not. That man dead. Shit. <laughs> Just got splattered immediately. Flame Hashira. Kyojiro. Kyojiro Rengoku. See, that's how you say Kyojiro. Kyojiro. Kyojiro Rengoku. It's because you got to try to put the accent on it. Like, I don't know if it's disrespectful to do that, but I think it helps you try to pronunciate it better. Like. Wherever he goes, it's just delicious, huh? He just a hungry ass Goku ass. <laughs> yep, fresh noodles prepped. Mm. Man, I've been on a noodle craze lately. I ate like ramen two twice last week. I went and had okay. some fuzz yesterday. Mm. Some rice noodles. Shit was slapping. I haven't had pho, but I hear great things about it. Mm. Yep. Oh, is this how they found out about the Mugen train? Okay. That's real That's real JRPG-ish right there. You, <laughs> you in the tavern, get your quest in the tavern and shit. For like. real. For real. <laughs> hmm. Man, what's that, a Rice Krispie treat? Oh, that's some tempura mm -hmm. or something? That mm -hmm. shit look, look <laughs> interesting. Delicious. That'd be true.
<laughs> Seems like all the older folks know about demons, and the younger generations are kind of oblivious. Yeah, right? Oblivious to that giant ignorant shit. <laughs> Look, there you go. <laughs> By the slasher. The slasher. Who are we talking about? They Michael Myers, Jason. Demon out there. They put a name on him. Look at. Does not. <laughs> I'm searching for demons. <laughs> like, we get straight to it around here. <laughs> yeah. So you far too blunt, man. <laughs> he see that food like oh he about to i thought he was gonna catch it in his mouth and he about to still eat it him. facts you know he gonna take a bite who delicious who am i who am i it's crazy that they're calling him a slasher and i was calling that dude freddy cougar but you don't even know if that's what they talking about they like, have he's, to he's of course that's the person who they talking about he's the one who's on the train right there was a couple of demons on the train, though. That's true. What you so scared? Who are you? Man. Oh, it was. Okay. He said, I'm a bento vendor. I am in no way suspicious. Hmm. I was about to say he finna hop off right here, and he still got his bento. <laughs> <coughs> Imagine seeing that shit as a regular dude. Like, <laughs> like, you like what? Ain't no way. We, Ain't no way. Me? Like we could do shit like this. Hold up, I've been wasting my life as a conductor. <laughs> You gotta learn that total concentration though. That shit ain't for everybody though. You gotta do them the one punch man training regimen, like <laughs> hundred push ups, hundred sit up, hundred squats. Every day. Every day. Mm. It's like a prize train, it's like the Titanic and shit. But a train. Mmm. Mmm, really is though. Ooh, got him by the cheek. Uh. Man, that's a freaking. Mmm, stepped on his bento. He about to spaz. For real. <laughs> He's like, that food is delicious. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> there we go. That's the slasher. Okay. I'll find you offensive. Oh. People are like, what the hell is going on? They probably can't even see him move. Okay, he was there. Oh, nice. Saved the life. Time without a scar, you scrub. Mm, he finna go back and just murk everybody. Okay. Yes, you offended me as well. Rengoku. I need you to hit that Zenetsu speed and, and, and slash right. this melon off. You feel me? You need to do this man dirty. There it is. Yep. Mm. Stop playing with Before me. Before you can even think about it, boy. Stop playing with me. Let's see how fast he regenerates. Okay. Damn, he's he, all right, he's pretty fast. Mm, he getting out of there. Okay. Takes him a little while to regenerate. Yep. There they go. They quick, boy. They be coming mm -hmm. out like the Foot Clan, bro. They be <laughs> everywhere. 
shit. Yeah, the Foot Clan, that's perfect. They everywhere, bro, in these streets. Hoping that you mm, remember so, that. Mm, Damn, you running fast. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he's going for them? No, 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 no. She about to believe in demons after this. Yes, she is. And probably after this, she's probably going to end up... This crib is going to be a wisteria shop. Watch. Mm. Woo. He going to smell them? Yep. Knew it. I could smell them. He could smell the freaking bantos. Bentos para rantos. Don't take this personally, though. Mm, nice. Motto. Let's For go. Real. Mm, over the banister. Uh oh. Get off the tracks. Ooh. Oh. Damn. Hello. Mm, he does Ooh, it though. Slashed his ankles, so you ain't going Facts. nowhere. So we taking the Achilles heel. We want you. To think he. Man, come on. Tilled up. Mm -hmm. uh, you ain't fast enough. You was too real. cocky, bruh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Flip that jump like, like <laughs> you Brad from Final Fantasy X. <laughs> you feel me? His name Oron. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Little Wild Wild West situation here. No need. You're slow, bro. You're dead. Gone. <laughs> You're slow. Exactly. I love it. You're slow, bro. Fuck what you heard. Unknowing fire. She's like a demon slayer in the flesh. Oh, who's that? His dad? When he was Hashida? Mm. Wow. That's got to be Pops. This Damn, is fire. Damn, that kind of gave me goosebumps. Fire. Yeah, this is fire. They, they, they did oh. their thing on this one, bro. Oh, this is fire. She had to. That's why she believed in demons. She had her own run-in, man. She know what it was. Oh, man. Let that breath out. Total concentration. Why is this show giving me chills right now, bro? Because it's the best it. anime ever Stop made. It, hands down. Can't why nobody my... argue against it. Go why ahead my... and just... I could read Braille off of my arm right now. <laughs> it says goosebumps, just to let y'all know. <sighs> twenty years ago. You say that, that was his pops. Yeah, he he only mm. like twenty two, twenty three. That was his pops. Yep. Fire. <laughs> Yep, the, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It's the best. I don't know what to say. Yep, pay your respects. <laughs> Facts. Live out of fear, they feed on that shit. Mm. <laughs> Man, they already know what it is. <laughs> yeah, not the nod, huh? Did this shit even have an intro? I just realized that. I don't think it did. <laughs> we got straight into it. Appreciate mm. you. He said, I only accept one and then buy the rest. <laughs> Beast mode. Told you, man. That's the Kurt Angle of the freaking anime world, man. That integrity, man. It's 100 right now. 
So th- that is where he get the mental, the mental from. <laughs> yeah. That's where he was slapping them gents yep. on the train the whole time. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. I like this song right here, like the the outro, but we're still playing out the episode. I like that. What? What? <laughs> hey, that's legit though. They selling them jumps right there. Like. Yep, and you know them shits is fresh too. <laughs> All oh, the kids, okay. That wanna, that wanna dream. Facts, just living the, in despair. The kid that broke down after seeing Tanjiro's subconscious. Man, this, yeah. Damn, I wish we would have saw this before the. <sighs> it would have tied into the movie so well. Mm, with gratitude, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm, that should look oh so good. Say it. <laughs> Delicious! Come on! Beautiful animation to end it. But we about to hear it in detail. He's a good person. Tough times. Okay, she on her horoscopes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he sticks out even more than the flamboyant one. <laughs> He's like an owl. He's like an owl. So comforting. Super cool big bro. Yep. Much fun training. Talks a lot. <laughs> Has a good personality. Love, Love him. him. <laughs> yep. He's a good guy. Love him. Positive. Nice. Never wants. Honest. Honest. I'm telling you, man. That integrity, man. Yeah, that's what I'm interested in. Because when he, at the end, Giyu was just like, hm. when he died, he didn't really say nothing. <laughs> okay. He often speaks to me. <laughs> Big bro. <laughs> I like that right there. That was cool. Oh man. Big bro. Big that bro, was big that bro. was cool. I there we have it. Season two, episode one. In the books. I gotta say, man, I I, I really enjoyed this episode. Thought it was a great great one man it was a nice little perspective before we got into mugen train with uh rengoku and i thought it was a nice solid episode how you feeling over there formal yeah i agree 100 percent, 100 percent. um yeah i loved it i loved it, it gave <laughs> us a little bit more perspective into rengoku and who he is and the type of integrity and honesty he has i really like i liked a lot of things about this like a lot of things about this and one of the things that i really liked was that ending how uh they asked all the other hashira yes. how they feel about rengoku mm-hmm. <clears throat> and the reason why i really liked that is because when rengoku died they kind of did something similar they showed how all the hashira felt about him dying Di- yeah. and they were all pretty positive about that as well like they were but at the same time it had me kind of worried because like one of i remember one of them was like dang like so even you know, even Rengoku can't be a Hashira, like a top one. Like, so I'm like, dang, Rengoku gotta be probably one of the top. Like, him and Giyu, I would assume, is probably one of the strongest two out of them. Like, cause you know, Shinobu, she can't even, she don't even really get it popping with the physical. She'd be out there poisoning people and yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it got me, it got, it has me kind of worried, like thinking about the future for, for the Hashira when they run into the top ranked demons. I think. Um, I think, mm-hmm, but w- w- with Shinobu though, I think she can be like top tier j- just because of that. Like, I don't think she needs much, you know, to kill a demon if she has poisons that can 
you know, deal with that. All she really need to do is just, you know, touch him. I think in a supportive way, yeah. But a 1v1? Okay. A 1v1? I see what you're saying. I see what like, you're saying. Yeah, imagine guess, she run into a Kaza. Yeah. That fool gonna punch a hole through her chest before she do anything. Like, that, you, Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. Like, she support class. She in the back, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, But I think you're right, man. I think that's one of the <clears throat> one of the great things about this episode was that little piece at the end there. Just kind of, you know... Letting, letting you know what everybody how how they felt about him but man um i also what, what i also love about this episode too was the two uh bento, bento vendor, yeah, yep. vendors uh, i think yep. that was a, a nice addition it kind of and, and the grandmother having that that recollection recollection of his father saving mm-hmm. uh her and her her mother so i i thought that was nice because it just kind of shows you where we might end up heading with this next episode hopefully we do address the father and you know we do get to see his maybe you know reaction to what happened with his son because i you know it's unfortunate that he didn't make it he did make it but i want I, i'm really curious to see what his reaction is gonna be is he gonna you be disrespectful you know you he, know how i felt yo he better what i be said that what i what i said in mugen train i said tangy gonna go tell him <laughs> he gonna disrespect him and tangy will gonna smack his ass because you know how tangy be when people disrespectful I, like, he, he that's why i really like rengoku like and seeing more of this episode because it shows like mm-hmm. some commonalities between him and Tanjiro. like yeah they, i think he would have been a perfect little pupil for him like and that's oh, that's man. why they took him away that's what you know that's why they took him away they had to play with our emotions man they know man. what's up like I, I i agree with you on that i agree with you on that and i think but was, I, oh, man it would have been so nice to see that though you know to see, see yeah. that interaction between him and then goku you know building that relationship i felt like that would have been something nice to watch but you know unfortunately he we won't be able to see that but you know one thing i really liked about the vendor interaction with with the whole her being saved by his father it kind of it, it like because when we first seen rengoku's dad it was a negative experience like mm-hmm. you know he was pretty much shitting on rengoku for becoming hashira and all that yep. like rengoku trying to keep his little brother's spirits up and stuff like that with the, with the, that type of father around yep so like even though that wasn't you know a good uh interaction between rengoku and his dad i feel like it was a good interaction with like rengoku's dad and and what demon slayers bring to people like that hope that demon slayers bring to people yeah. so like by her remembering that it was his father and saying that to him I feel like in, in a little piece of him, like, you know, kind of connects that emotional connection with him and his dad, because the way his dad treats him, I can only assume that Rengoku, you know, feels some type of way about him. I, I, the type of character that Rengoku is, I bet he loves the hell out of his father, but he probably feels like he wants his dad to be more supportive and appreciative of what he's doing. So he didn't he doesn't get that through his dad but through that interaction with the bento vendor he kind of got that like mm. he was like okay boom like the the impact that my dad made i'm still doing that yeah and like even though i don't get the support from my father i could see from the people that i help like i get that so i thought that I was, that was kind of like a cool little piece that they actually threw that in there like it was dope yeah man. i like this episode i i do too i i, I kind of wish we did see this before watching the movie because it really really would have you know got me in the feels but i mean <laughs> yeah I, I i enjoyed the episode so um any final thoughts uh any final thoughts no nah, no final thoughts man you know i'm ready because i'm ready I'm yeah ready. i'm ready so well. like like we said i guess the one final thought is just to drop the psa one more time we're not gonna watch the rest of this arc we're gonna just jump to the next arc so technically this was season two episode one and the next arc is gonna be season two episode <laughs> one again <laughs> is it but yeah we're not is gonna it, that's how yeah. it's titled okay because i think so if i'm not mistaken yeah okay but um it's all right though like the rest is moving train so we have the moving train reaction up so feel free to go jump into that if you want to see yep the rest of this arc so, um if you had to score this episode what, what would you score i just want a solid like 8.5 and the reason why i threw that extra 0.5 in there is because someone said the animation between season two and season one was dramatic and i was like there's no way because they not that far apart from each other 
But this shit look good, bro. <laughs> like they definitely done turned up with they with they animation skills. So yeah, I had a good time, man. Eight point five. I think I have to agree. Eight point five is right in the sweet spot. Uh, just great to see um Rengoku doing his thing, enjoying some food, some delicious mm-hmm. food. And yeah, and I, th- I, th- I thought it was a great uh, addition just to his character, and it kind of shows you, you know, where he's at. And man, R.I.P. Rengoku, man, we miss you, bro. Facts, big bro, big bro. <sighs> so, man, if you're still here, we appreciate you. But don't forget to like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. F double R out. Peace. <laughs>